Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics. We've got a big day today. We've got more animals arriving. So we're going to have a look. Um, you know, we've got two little deliveries today. So we're, we'll have a look at them. Uh, we've got Megan again, picking up the slack as always. Helping me keep the place going. Uh, you might hear some banging today because they're taking away more of my parking and dropping in drop curves for people. So that's what all the banging is about. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the video. Please like, subscribe, comment and share for me. And I'll see you in the future. Oh no, I'll see you in a bit. Not in the future, that's later on. Look him out. He's coming out on his own accord. He wants a cuddle. Wanna come out and see Uncle Alex? Come out and see Uncle Alex, eh? Well, no, he wants to go back in now. He spotted his locust. Will he eat from off my hand? Will he now? That would be so cool if he does. Go on. I'll hold my hand still. He's thinking about it. Oh, that is sick. Oh, my God. That is brilliant. Oh, my God. Look at that. I thought hand feeding them for cook was cool, but this is twice as cool. Colour, he's so happy, he's like these are his happy colours. Who's a good boy? Delicious. Yes he is. I know you don't like the camera. Such a good boy. You run my hand, you can't be scared of my other one. He's looking at you, Meg, I think. Okay. No. He's looking at Mego. What a cool chameleon. Who's a good boy? Was that nice? Would you like to go back on the vine or are you happy sat on my hand? What do you reckon? Wanna go back? Back on the vine? No? Maybe? Come on, you can't stay on me all day. Come on, buddy. That's a good lad. One foot. Come on. That's a good lad. One foot. Come on. <laughs> Could you please leave my finger? Please. Mr. Chameleon, he's wiggling. That's a good lad. That's a good lad. Keep going. That's it. Look. Come on. We can do it. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle me finger. Mr. Chameleon, move. Come on, buddy. My arm's getting achy. Oh, my, he's off, he's off, he's off. What a good boy. Chuck some more locusts in for you and you can eat them on your own. What a good lad. Feed him, Mego. These frog things. I don't actually know what type of frogs they are. They're red eyed tree frogs, Mego. Red eyed tree frogs, Alex. You... So they're, just, they're, they're chilling at the moment. Oh. Meg, did you just release the crickets? <laughs> a couple may There's have... crickets everywhere, Meg. Meg, out. there's crickets. <laughs> Meg. To the floor. You've released the crickets. I can't get them out properly. Oh. Good. Yeah. Are oh. they coming out? Hold the, hold the tub where it is. Yeah. You grab half of this. Yeah. Take it over the edge. Yeah. There we go. Ah. See, little tip there for loads and loads of crickets. So let's have a look at our little baby that we've just had come in. So um, what he's doing, I didn't, it's not off one of my suppliers, it's off a different lady who breeds them. So it didn't come in a box or anything like that, so I put him straight in the tank, let him warm up, let him colour up a bit more, so we can have a look at him. So we go down and have a look at our new little baby. Da -da -da -da! We got a baby bit of dragon! How you doing mate? How you doing little mate, eh? Hey? What you doing? Wanna come out? Do you wanna come out? You can come out. You can come out, you can. Come on then. You don't want to come out? Come on. You came out earlier. There we go. He was a good lad, so he's a lot darker than the last one we had come in. 
He's got some lovely oranges and stuff like that on him. And you might. And you're a nice little dragon. Yes, you are. He's nice and chunky. We like a nice chunky dragon. Nice and chunky. So we're going to get him some veg. And we might. We're going to get you some veg. We're going to chuck you in some little locusts as well. Where's you going? We're going to chuck you in some little locusts, haven't we? Yes, we are. You get some little locusts. What do you reckon? You want locusts or mealworms? Or veg? Or veg? You put to perk up when I said veg? Do you want some veg? What do you reckon? You can have veg, you can have mealworms, or you can have locusts. You can have any of them you desire. Well, I've got to answer the phone, and I've got a dragon on my hand. You coming with me? Come on then. You've got to get off me now, I've got a customer. You've got to, you've got to get off me. We've got a customer, you've got, you've got what are you doing? You gotta get off. We need I've got a customer. I need to serve the customer, please. Can you please leave my arm so I can serve the customer? What do you think? You can no 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 You can't you're going further up my arm. Come on, off my arm, come on. Off my arm, get off. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You you you're cheating, you're not meant to move. Come on. You're cheating. You're cheating. Oh, what am I gonna do? I'm going to have to use my other hand. I'm going to have to use my other hand and see if I can poke him up. Come on, off you go. No, he's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. There we go. There we go. You naughty little dragon. So the mossy frog, the um, bird poo mossy frog is doing really well now. So I thought we'd... Um, he's in a cool spot as well. So I thought we'd get a little clip of him and um, see how he's getting on. So the game is spot the frog. Okay. Can you spot the frog anywhere? You ready? You ready? Can you see the frog? There he is. Sat in the crack in the tree. What's a hairy plant? Look there. There he is. Stop it. Move away, plant. You're in the way. There he is, there's my little mate. There he is. Sat chilling on the log. So he's had some bugs today, Meg's give him some bugs. And we fed the other ones. He's doing really well. Settled in nice, eating his bugs. So I'm happy with him now. I'll put him back on sale, I think. Now he's looking all good. So plant, stay out the way, plant, plant, plant. Please. Thank you. There he is, looking his finest. Ah, oh, the camera's playing up now. Oh, it's not my day today. We haven't seen the European eyed lizards. European eyed lizards. <laughs> we haven't seen them in a while. And the male is now super tame. Comes out of my hand and everything straight away. So uh, we're getting him out, put him in the food box, let him have his feed, and we feed the female as well. Hello, mate. Wanna come out? Come on in. You come out earlier. Come on. Come on, yeah. Come on, buddy. Where's you going? I know you. Then you you can go back in. Come on, buddy. He was fine earlier. Come on, you're making me look bad. Come on, you're making me look bad. Come on. There he is, my little buddy. Whoop, he's a good lad. Still a little bit skitty, but he's doing really well now. Enjoy my mate. He's starting to get his blue dots. It's just starting to get a teal colour. So we shut the door now, because we don't want his missus getting out, because last time I picked her up, him up, she jumped onto my hand to get to him. So we're going to put him in this little box here, which is full of little locusts. We're going to watch him have a munchie. Come on in, little buddy. You've got to go in the box and get the locust look. No, that's the wrong way. Come here. No, wrong way. Come on. Look, locusts. Look. There he sees him now. He's on it. Wah, wah, wah. It's not very easy to film him in the box. There you go. I got it. You got him? Yeah. 
So we're doing, we're feeding them separately because they can't be trusted to eat together. They start start attacking each other, they do. It's just wiggling in the... He said, I've got no grip, it's Alex. Singing. I've got no grip. Such a little boss, there he is. So we're doing really well now. I'm so glad, and we'll, we'll have a good look at the female's tail as well, because she's gone back to being absolutely normal. So we'll leave him to chill, and we'll have a little look at the females, I think. So I've got the female, they have destroyed this tank, absolutely destroyed it. So all their woods, all their caves have collapsed, because they've been digging so much. The plant died, so I've taken that out. They've literally just completely destroyed the tank. And dug loads of other burrows as well in places. Whoa, it's going crazy. Oh, I lost one. Oh, they're all over the I've floor. Lost it. I've lost it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. <laughs> so come have a look. Come have a look. Look what they've done to it. Absolutely destroyed Disaster. it there. Disaster. So the plant's gone. That's caved in. The burrow, they've caved most of that in. They've got a burrow at the back of here, which they keeps caving in. So they are destroying the tank. So we have to think of some other design for tank for it. Hello, darling. Can we touch you? Oh. How are you? So we look at the tail. It is absolutely back to normal, like you wouldn't even notice. It's just a slight different colour. There we go, see? Mm. Got the tips on there, absolutely everything. So it's growing back completely normal. So I am happy as anything Hello. that she's back to being perfect. So beautiful. She's twice the size of the male she is. You've not got any more locusts. She's got some around there somewhere. She'll find them. She'll find them. There she goes. She's got one. She's got one. Hmm. Yeah, this plant is uh, in need of replacement. <laughs> you finished all your locusts, everybody? Yes. So we're getting back out of the book. We've got one left. I don't think you can eat that one. You got a big belly now? Yeah, she's got a big belly now. You see him? It's not focusing. There we go. He's getting his blue now. Hey. He's looking really good. Gorgeous. I think he's brilliant. I love European eyed lizards. After we had that one that came in that was just amazing, I fell in love with him. He's got to come stay on me, you got to go in the tank. I know you want to stay on me, but you've got to go in the tank, look. There you go. He's a good lad. So baby lizards are a lot easier to tame than adult lizards. Adult lizards are usually set in their way. Well, you say, they've had so much time around humans, and if the humans not being nice, then they remember that, and they, they've got that in their head then. So when they're babies, it's really important. We do the taming then, so they remember when they're adults, when they're adults, they've got bigger teeth, bigger jaws, more powerful. So you'd rather have them bite you now than when they're adults. Hello, little one. Would you like some buggies? I think Mego's going to give you a bug. It's like it's so bright, I've got to keep my eyes shut. Is that, what is that? Oh my god. Oh my god, what is that thing in front of me? She normally eats them straight away. She's like, what the blooming hell is that thing? <gasps> she could have him. It's big as fighting back. Will she defeat the worm of death? <laughs> oh, she's got it. She's got one little head crunch. Oh, look at that. We've had him. We've had him a good one. We've had him a good one. So this is the uh, blazing blizzard. So it's a little bit whiter than the normal blizzards. Hello, darling. Not happy. So what she's doing, she's pretending to be a rattlesnake. So if she was in the wild, she'd be in loads of leaves. And the leaves would be rustling that would sound like a rattlesnake rattling its rattle. So that's why she's wiggling her tail, so it sounds and makes it look like she's a rattlesnake. But really she's not. But by the looks of it, she's in the strike position. <laughs> yes, she is. Bloody hell. Yep, she's definitely in the strike position. So uh, as she's, you've seen, she's just bit me. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to leave her alone, put the lid back on, and uh, just do her water and let her chill out because she's obviously a little bit wound up. 
So we can do our do it Mo because we don't want you getting bit. Calm down, darling. Oh, she's crazy. Yep, she's definitely crazy. So you go there. Oh no, she's coming out. She's oh, coming no. out to attack me. Ah. You're meant to be a snake, you're meant to be hiding. Super aggressive. She's like I'm not a snake. She's super aggressive, darling. I'm a dragon. Super aggressive. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna put some water in a bowl because it's where she is it's in a nice warm spot so it's evaporating quite quickly so we'll put some fresh water in for today and then um, we'll leave her and let her settle and then we're gonna have to do some taming down with her because well looks like I'm gonna be getting bit loads while we do the taming because we don't want her big and bitey little and bitey we can deal with big and bitey would be a bit of a pain so uh, I don't think she got me I think she just bounced off because she's only got a little tiny mouth and I've got big fingers compared. So we'll leave it to it, do a water and do some timing in the next week or two. Saying hello to our new bearded dragon. It's very friendly. Hello. Would you like some food? You have to come off my arm for me to get you some food. Yes. Hello. Come on. We'll get you some food. Come on, you gotta get off and I'll get you some locusts. Go on. Go. He's like, no, I'm quite happy on here. <laughs> you won't get off my arm. Dude, you need some food. It's very cute. Go. Oh, hello. Aren't you a cutie? Yes, you are. I thought we'd say goodbye with Mr. Catfish because he's destroyed his tank. He's decided he doesn't want anything stood up right, he wants everything lying down. So, this is how you do it, ain't it? This is how you do it. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Such a lovely fish. So, uh, I think that's all we've got time for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share for me. If you want to watch another video, box should be there. If you want to watch a playlist, it should be up there. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, it should be up there. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.